I would be happy to tell you all about Glendale Arts, but no matter what I say, if you're not there to actually experience it, it's just words. It's the same thing as three kids getting together watching Oklahoma on a smartphone. You have to be in the Alex to understand the Alex. I can't begin to tell you what it's like to go in to see a film like Oklahoma at the Alex, and there's a grandfather, his son, and his son there. And the grandfather says to the grandson, I was your age when I saw this film here. There are very few places in California or anywhere in the world that you can say that about. There's a passion and that there's a fire. When you get the opportunity to be inside the Alex, you're actually treading on precious ground. People have been in that theater since 1925. Could you imagine? Could you imagine what it was like in 1925 to actually see Chaplin when he was brand new to audiences in a brand new film? Or Ben-Hur, the original Ben-Hur, or even Wings, or, or Gone with the Wind. A lot of people don't know that the Alex Theater previewed a lot of these films before they were seen anywhere else in the world. Hollywood gets a lot of credit and a lot of attention, but the Alex was first for Ben-Hur. It was first for many other films from all the other studios. And to sit in a theater with 1,400 other people and experience the same thing that they're experiencing, that is something that television has never been able to do and never will. Hollywood is great, but the Alex is one of the few things that really means something to a lot of people and a lot of families. It's, it's, it's iconic, it's legendary.